what have we got here? I mean, you can see right off here, there's some gold IC chips. Oh, that's nice, you say, some gold IC chips. Okay, big deal, right? Wait a minute. Take a gander at this. And this. That's right. We got a lot of gold IC chips from Johnny that need processing. Well, hello, Scrappers. Mike here. Welcome back to my channel. And what have we got going on today? Oh, I've got a special treat for you today. So, my friend Johnny from Finland made his annual trek back to the U.S. and visited me. And he brought me some stuff that he wants me to refine for him. What have we got here? Well, we've got some good stuff. we got some pretty darn good stuff. Uh, believe it or not, he brought all this in his carry-on luggage. Boy, his bags were heavy. He left here a lot lighter than he came. This is going to take a while to go through. Because he brought me quite a variety of things. I mean, you can see right off here, there's some gold IC chips. Oh, that's nice, you say, some gold IC chips. Okay, big deal, right? Wait a minute. Take a gander at this. And this. That's right. We got a lot of gold IC chips from Johnny that need processing. He wants to pre process them. He wants me to hand him back a uh, ingot of gold the next time he comes to the U.S. So just crazy, crazy. I, I haven't even weighed these, so I don't know how many we've got. I'll weigh some of this stuff later in the video um, because I need to do that for yield purposes later anyway. So I'll just, I'm just going to weigh it and see. Just how much of this stuff Johnny brought me. But this is this is great stuff. I mean, these are just tons of gold ICs, fully gold-plated ceramic ICs, including a Pentium Pro. So, you know, there, there's some really good stuff here. And this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. This is the barest, minimalist beginning of what he brought me. So... I'm going to take a look at some of this other stuff. So I think this is the star of the show, personally. I'm a gold guy, but, you know, there's some other good stuff, too. There's a lot of silver here and other stuff. So let's take a look at some of the other stuff he brought me. I'm going to put these back in the boxes so that we can weigh them later and get some idea just how much he brought me. Okay, we got all that lovely distracting gold out of the way. Uh, we need to weigh this, too. This is really heavy. And what this is, is a little container full of relay contacts. Now, where does Johnny get all this stuff? Well, he, in Finland, he disassembles and, and scraps out old telephone equipment. He gets literal tons of it. I mean, he's shown me pictures of the old telephone installations he gets to demolish and scrap out, okay? It's his job, basically, to take apart the old equipment so the new equipment can come in. And, well, he's a micro-scrapper extraordinaire. You know, not only does he take out all the good IC chips, he disassembles everything. And there must be a million tiny relay contacts in here. Most of them silver, some gold. So he wants me to process that for him, too. It's uh, going to be a, a fairly big job, but not compared... To these relay contacts, I mean, uh, look at this silver on that, big silver contacts over here. So, yeah, he's got all kinds of relay contacts here with big silver pads on them. So, there's a lot to do there, but that's, again, only part of it. He took apart some big crossbar switches. I helped him identify them and figure out what they were. And these are some of the crossbars. <laughs> and they have, each one has dozens of little silver contacts on it, on, on brass. I got to figure out how to get that silver out of there. I'm going to have to weigh this stuff up too. There's just 
a lot of it. It's mostly brass, but there's a lot of silver in here too. So I gotta figure out what to do with that. Um, some of the stuff I'm less impressed with here are these <laughs> RJ45 jacks. Oh, he brought me a couple thousand of these. I know my buddy Jim out in Arizona just did a bunch of RJ45 contacts. And he told me he was not impressed with the yield he got from them. Jim, we need to talk. Um, I need to try and uh, find a way to streamline the process you used and uh, see if I can uh, process these a little more efficiently because you say there's not much gold in them. And I know looking at them, there's not that much gold in them. There's a lot of other stuff here. So I want to be as efficient as possible when I get around to processing these uh, just because the gold content is so low. Um, I've also watched some other videos on YouTube of people doing this, and some of their processes look way too manually intensive. I got to find a more automated way to do it too, just because there's too many of them. There's way too many of them. There's thousands of them here. So, yeah. Thanks, Johnny. These these are some things I'm not going to enjoy processing right here. Okay. But uh, I'll get it done for you. I'm glad you only come to the U.S. once a year, twice a year at the most. Because it's going to take me a while to work through all this stuff. All right, so get these out of the way. But again, this is not all. He brought me some other stuff. Um, lots and lots of these little boards. Little tiny boards. I don't know how well it's showing up. But they have a lot of gold plating on them. Uh, these look like M2 socket boards. There's some SSDs in here. There's some Wi-Fi cards in here. Just, you know, they've all got gold fingers on them. They've got lots of little chips on them. Over here, we've got, uh, it's like fiber optic connectors. Yeah, that's what these are, fiber optic connectors. Again, they have gold plating, fingers, um, gold plated components. Um... And it goes on and on. I mean, here's another bin of them over here. Let me zoom out a little bit. There's so much stuff here, you can't see it all. Here's another bin of them over here. Bag of them here. So processing all these little boards, this is this is going to be a job. All right? Because, uh, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a billion chips on them all together, even though they're tiny. And I know those chips contain gold. There's gold fingers, gold connectors, and then there's gold plating on the uh, receiver and transmitter modules. There's gold plating on some of the boards, as well as fingers on all of them. Whew! I might need a little advice from some of you folks. So feel free to hit me up in the comments with your best advice on how I should process this. And I know, I know, a lot of people say, oh, just burn them, and then deal with uh, the ash, crush up the ash and deal with that. Well, you know, that's maybe not the most environmentally friendly way to do things. It's also not the most neighborly friendly. Um, we make a lot of smoke. Um, I'm thinking get the George Foreman rotisserie out and run a bunch of these through it and let it depopulate the boards. And then uh, deal with the boards, get the gold off the boards, maybe with the... Uh, I might have to revisit Eco Goldex, Gold Stripper, possibly to uh, process these boards. That's a possibility. Um, yeah, and then also maybe the, the gold-plated components, like the receiver transmitters on here with lots of gold plating on them. The Eco Gold Dex might work with those, possibly. Um, and then process all the little chips the way I normally process my IC chips. You know, I've got lots of videos on that. I'll put a link to one in the upper right or a series in the upper right so johnny oh my goodness you are going to keep me busy all summer with this stuff aren't you for sure all right let's weigh up some of this stuff and see just how much of each thing johnny brought me okay got my long suffering scale out it's about time to replace this thing but ugh, let's start with the gold ic chips and i know richard you don't have to tell me I'm weighing the boxes, but those boxes don't weigh much. The chips inside are heavy. We got 
1.185 pounds of gold-plated ceramic IC chips there. That is going to be a lot of gold. We're going to get a lot of gold out of these chips. And I think I'm going to have fun processing them, even though it's going to nag me in the back of my mind that more money could be made by simply selling them. It's a weird world out there. People will pay more than the gold value for these on eBay and other places. Okay? But we'll get the gold out of them. Let's see here. This big bin of tiny, tiny little relay contacts. What do we got here? Almost exactly four pounds. A little over four pounds. All right. So that's going to be mostly silver with some gold, uh, possibly cadmium and tin and a few other things, but mostly silver with some gold. So that's a lot of silver. We've got this big thing in contacts. This is mostly copper and brass with big silver contacts, although I do see some of the stuff is silver plated in there too. So what do we got here? We got another 3.16 pounds of these heavy duty power relay contacts. Okay. How the heck did you get all this in your carry on luggage, Johnny? Let's see these crossbar switch things. We got 3.555 pounds of these to process. And this is going to be mostly brass. Uh, Johnny had some ideas for maybe getting these little silver contacts off. I may try his methods first. And then uh, if they don't work, I may try something else. But hopefully it can separate those silver contacts from the brass. That would be great. Let's see. All these little boards. All these thousands of little boards. 11.535 pounds of these little boards with all their gold-plated components and gold fingers on them. Okay. Nice. And let's throw, just for funsies, we'll throw this stuff up on here. I don't know if you can see that. What do we got? 16.655 pounds of RJ45 connectors. And, you know, Johnny carried all this stuff through multiple airports, multiple cities, on his back before he got here and could unload it on me. The man is solid muscle, let me tell you. That, and, you know, he spends all his time, he's a bachelor, he can get away with it, scrapping out these big old telephone systems out in Finland, stuff from Nokia and uh, some of the other European, big European phone companies. And like I said, he sent me pictures of his place. He's got stacks to the ceiling of stuff. And he keeps talking about a big project he wants to do. This isn't it. He hasn't given me any details yet, but he says, oh, we'll see after this if we're ready to tackle the big project. So, oh my goodness. Uh, I'm a little bit scared of the big project, to be perfectly honest. So, you're going to be seeing a lot of videos in the future as I process Johnny's stuff here. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully, I can get it all done, or at least substantially done, before he comes back to the U.S. again. He said he might come in the autumn, or it might be next spring again before he comes depending on, you know, his work schedule and other stuff. So I've got a while to work on it. I just have to decide what I want to do first. Um, of course, I, the gold, I might, uh, I might do some small-scale testing on the gold and maybe on these relay contacts right here. They, this, this doesn't need me processing. Maybe I'll start with the relay contacts because I can just go straight to processing this. I don't have to do anything to it. Okay, these I need to get the silver contacts off of. These I need to get the silver contacts off of. These I need to crush and sort and sift and all that good stuff. But these I can go right to work with. So maybe in a future video, not too far down the road, maybe I'll even start this weekend, we'll start processing this uh, massive four pounds of 
tiny, tiny relay contacts that are, by the looks of it, heavily contaminated with gold. <laughs> it's a good thing to have contamination with. I could probably dissolve these in nitric acid and just filter off the gold and anything else that doesn't dissolve and then process the filters and then just recover the silver easy enough, either just um, cement it out on copper or do the sh lye and sugar method, either way. So we'll probably start with that. I'll contemplate this other stuff. Like I said, leave me leave me ideas in the comments for how to uh, get the, the, the little silver buttons off of these things. I think with just an oxyacetylene torch, I can probably do these. Uh, these over here, uh, I, I probably need some ideas on. Uh, efficient ideas on how to process all these RJ45 connectors. I would appreciate it. I know how to do the uh, the gold-plated ceramic chips. I've done them before. I'm just going to have to scale up a lot, okay, because I've never done anywhere near so many at once. And I think I'm going to have to buy some nitric acid, too. I'm going to, you know, you know me, I normally make nitric acid. I have videos, multiple videos on how to make it. I'll put link to one in the upper right. But um, I think for this, I'm going to have to actually break down and buy a few liters of nitric acid, maybe more than a few, to get all this done. So maybe once my nitric acid arrives and I get some free time, we'll start working on all this stuff. So watch for those future videos. Subscribe to see them to be notified when they happen. I'll press that little bell icon. You'll get a notification when I put out a new video. And... Uh, Wow, thanks a lot, Johnny. You're going to keep me busy. I'm pretty happy with what you brought me, although I'm a little scared by it, too. Anyway, if you guys are happy with this video, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you in a future video. Thanks a lot for watching this one. Bye.